area of triangles and quadrilaterals. We are going to be finding the area of these shapes right here. So you can copy them down. Um, one thing I do want to point out that this we know as a trapezoid. You can also call it a trapezium. So go ahead and copy these shapes down. So the first shape that we're going to look at is a square. And I want you to write down square. And I want you to write down the formula area equals base times height. So, and then I would like, I have a square right here, and I want you to take a look at it, and um, I want you to just draw the outline of it. No, actually, let me turn it uh, this way. So, I want you to draw an outline of it. So, I want you to draw the base, and I want you to draw the height, and then just go ahead and um, complete the square. And I want you to label the base and label the height. The most important thing that I need you to know, this is super, super important. In order to determine where the base and the height are, you must have a right angle. The reason this is the base and this is the height is because it forms a right angle. Think about the fact that you never would measure how tall you are when you're slanted over. The doctor always tells you stand up straight so that I can measure your height. So you must have a right angle. So then we can just uh, look at the dimensions and count the number of units that we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're counting the length. We're not counting the squares. And so that's five by one, two, three, four, five. So the way that we're going to do this when we plug it into our calculator, or our calculator, when we plug it into our formula, we're gonna substitute in five for the base times five for the height, so we know that area is 25 units squared. Make sure that you put units squared. All right, so copy that one down. Make sure you have that. That's probably the easiest one that we're going to do. Okay, now I want you to write down rectangle. The formula for a rectangle to find the area is base times height again. And I want you to draw the outline of this rectangle. So here is the base and here is the height. And again, why are we naming this base and height? What do we have to have? We must have a right angle. So let's go ahead and measure the length or the, the units of the base. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five. So seven by five. So what we're going to do then is plug it back into our formula. So I'm going to write area equals 7 for the base times 5 for the height. So there are 35 square units, square units in uh, this rectangle. Oh, and make sure that you go ahead and draw out the rest of the rectangle. That's 5 by 7. So also a pretty easy shape to find the area of. All right, now I would like you to write down parallelogram and write down the formula for the area of a parallelogram, which is base times height also. Now, rectangles and squares are also parallelograms. Parallelograms can also look like this. Now, I've labeled the base. Make sure you label the base and the height. This is the height. Super, super important. Again, kids, why? is this the height and not this? Well, there's a right angle right here. There is not a right angle here. You would never, again, you would never measure something, um, you're measure a person or something when it's when you're not standing straight uh, up, up and uh, tall. And the reason um, that the formula is base times height, all formulas for quadrilaterals that we're going to be looking at are based on the formula for a rectangle. So how can we make this into a rectangle? I could cut off this height right here. And if I put it back together, then what have I formed? I formed a rectangle. And I can, I can find the area of this rectangle again easily by base times height. So that's why the formula for a parallelogram that looks like this is um, still base times height. 
Now the base, we need to figure out the units of the base. And remember, we're counting the units. You are not counting the squares. So that's one, let's see, one length, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, by one, two, three, four. So this is eight by four. So then we're just going to um, plug in. Now remember, you've got your whole uh, parallelogram drawn right here. So we're just going to plug in area equals eight by four. So the area is 32 units squared. So make sure you've got that one written down. All right, now let's look at a triangle. Uh, go ahead and write down the formula. There are two formulas that you can use. This is the one that's on your formula chart, um, your math chart. This formula right here is what I prefer to use, half of the base times the height or base times height divided by two. So let's look at it. If I take a triangle, this is a right triangle, base, height, right here, here is the right angle, why would it be base times height divided by two? Well, I could take a triangle that's exactly congruent to it, and um, I could flip it around like this, and I could make the triangle into a rectangle. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Base times height, but I don't want the entire rectangle. I only want half of it. So that's why it's one half or divide by two. So uh, base times height divided by two. So let me go ahead and tell you the dimensions of this triangle are eight by seven. So this base is eight, the height is seven. So let's go ahead and um, plug that into our formula. And I'm gonna use base times height divided by two. So I'm gonna put eight times seven divided by two. And I know that that eight times seven is 56 divided by two is 28 units squared. So that is my final um, answer. The most common mistake that people make with uh, area of a triangle is forgetting divide by two or multiplying by a half, which does the same thing. Don't let that happen to you. Um, I do want to show you one other uh, triangle. This is not a right triangle. This triangle looks like this. I'd like you to copy it down. But I want you to notice that this time the base is this entire length right here. So um, this base is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. And then the height is here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, don't forget that unit at the top right there. So this is a seven by seven. Why is the height here in the middle? Well, here is your um, right angle. Sometimes you will see a dotted line drawn over here as the height. So copy down this triangle as well. All right, the last shape that we're gonna talk about is a trapezoid. Trapezoid, the formula is uh, for areas one half of base one plus base two, that's B, subscript one and B subscript two times the height, or uh, base one plus base two uh, times the height divided by two. This one is the one that I prefer. So here is a trapezoid. Uh, trapezoid can look like this. There's another uh, shape trapezoid that I wanna show you. Um, so this trapezoid, uh, trapezoids have two bases. This is one base and this is the other base. It doesn't really matter which one you call base one and base two. And then this is the height. But we know that that is the height certainly, again, because why? Because of the right triangle. So this particular um, trapezoid has a base of 11 units um, and a height of four units. And then this base over here is seven units. The reason that the formula is base times height, I, I mean, sorry, is base one plus base two times the height divided by two is, well, let's think about how you would make this into a rectangle. We could um, take another 
uh, trapezoid that looks exactly like it, put it on top just to make sure, and I could take it and I could flip it around and make a rectangle. And you can see, let me set it down like this so you can kind of see it better, but you can see that base one and base two make the whole entire length. So this is like base times the height. But what we actually have to do is add base one and base two together to get the whole entire length and then multiply it by the height. But we don't want this whole rectangle, so what do we do? We take half of it or we divide it by two. So base one plus base two times the height divided by two. So let's um, go ahead and work that out. So in this case, base one is 11 plus base two is seven times the height, which is four, all divided by two. So let's do our parentheses first. 11 and seven is 18 times four, all divided by two. And then uh, 18 times four is 72, divided by two is 36 units squared. Final answer. And of course, what people oftentimes forget is dividing by two or multiplying by a half. Pause, rewind, watch this one again, just to make sure that when you come into class, you're able to find the area of a trapezoid because you understand it from the video. I also wanna show you a trapezoid uh, that looks something different. All right, so take a look at this trapezoid. A trapezoid could look like this. So here you've got base one, which is this whole entire base. A lot of times people will call, will only measure this or they will measure this. Because, and then here's base two. And the height is here because that's where our right angle is. So let's look at how this would form a rectangle. So we've got two um, congruent uh, trapezoids. And then if I flip it over, it becomes a um, parallelogram. And we know that a parallelogram is base times height. But we don't want, and again, that's base one plus base two is the entire base. But we don't want the whole entire uh, parallelogram. We will only want half of it. So this is another example of what a trapezoid could look like. So make sure you have written that down as well. And last but certainly not least, uh, I have included some helpful hints because there are very common mistakes that people make. Look for that right angle. That is so super important. Don't forget to divide or multiply, oh, that should say multiply by one half. Work step by step. Start with the formula. Use your notes and your math chart. Write those down. Go back and watch certain parts of the video if you need to.